John chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave that he gave his only begotten son So this is a message the Bible brings us from beginning to end It sounds sim simple enough Yet few of us really comprehend it we can understand the idea of God power. We can understand a God who desired to be served him. But an almighty God who loves us so much that he desires. Above all, to give, give to us that can be hard to believe. For thousands of years, God has been working to drop the revelation of his love into the hearts of men. He has made loving promises of blessing and protection. But he has always faced that same obstacle. Human beings who just couldn't bring themselves to believe those promises were true. Who promises to were true? The story of Abraham is a perfect example. He was in the extumed to the idea of God who gives. After all, had grown up as the worship of a moon. And the moon had certainly never seemed interested in doing anything for him. Then he encountered El Shadi, the greatest being of all, the one Almighty God, and the first thing this El Shadi wanted to do was given to him. So God's promises so astounded Abraham that he couldn't believe them. So Lord, he asked how. Can I know I am really going to receive these things? See Genesis chapter 15 8. So do you know how God answered him? By cutting a blood covenant with him. That covenant settled forever and question. Abraham could ever have about God's love and loyalty. Once blood had been shed. He know God meant what he said. So God did the same thing for you. He cut a blood covenant with you. And he sacrificed his own son to do it. So Jesus broken body and shed blood have become the eternal proof of God's love for you. Through the communion he is you to remember them again and again so that when you faith in his promises begin to waver. So you might have a strong consolation. Hebrews chapter 6 18. So get a revelation of God's love for you by meditating on the covenant he has made with you. So get out the bread and the cup. Go before the Lord with them and take a communion. So, so think about the body and the blood of Jesus that enable you to be a blood, covenant members of the family of Almighty, Almighty God. Let them settle forever the question of God's love for you. So you will never again have to double it. His promises once you believe in his love. That's why I read the beginning John chapter 316. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God loves you my dear. God bless you.